How's it going everybody? Danger Rock here. Today we're going to be looking at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fast Forward Leonardo action figure. This figure was released in 2008 as part of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fast Forward action figure line. I've had this guy for quite a while now. I got him loose so I don't have um, one of his swords. But I thought this would be a nice um, review today because um, this toy brings back a lot of memories. I remember waking up Saturday mornings, putting my TV on the four kids TV for Ninja Turtles Fast Forward to come on TV. And it was a really interesting um, series. I, I thought it was interesting how the turtles end up transported to the future um, in the year 2105. And... It was a really good show. Uh, my favorite incarnation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is the 2003 version. And this is a really nice action figure. I really like the sculpting that they put into this guy. I feel like he's very reminiscent of his TV show counterpart. He, he's got some pretty um, good articulation in his arms. His wrists um, fully rotate. Um, you can rotate his head a full 360. And his legs don't bend, but his feet do. So that's that's pretty interesting how he has um, foot articulation. And you can um, rotate his knees. They could kick out this far. And what I like about this um, figure is that it's not limited by any um, play features. So if we look at the back of him, you can see this is um, where his swords are. Of course, I only have the one sword because I got this guy loose. But if we just look at the detail put into his accessory, I really like that translucent um, blue in his sword. So it, it ports right in there. But what's cool is that what you can do is you could port it right into his hand. As you can see, he's got a gripping hand right here. So if you were to display this um, figure holding his swords, that would look even cooler. It's just unfortunate that I don't have the other sword. And also, what I really liked about this series is I like the look at, of the characters. Um, I like the way he's wearing like this um, black and silver armor right here, which in the show, I believe it was um, more of like a blue. It wasn't all black, but I do like the colors on him, and I really like the little detail right here on his belt. Yeah, I, I really like this a lot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to compare... Leonardo next to his um, 2003 Playmates um, counterpart right here. And as you can see, um, fast forward, Leonardo is only a little bit taller. I believe it's just the way um, this figure right here, his legs are like hinged in a certain position. So that's probably why I can't get any um, bigger um, but I really do like both these figures a lot. These both bring back a lot of happy memories as a kid. And now just taking a look at the um, back of them. Um, honestly, I like um, this guy on the right a lot more because he's just more of like a standard um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Um, but this guy over here does have a little bit more articulation. The only difference is this guy, his um, wrist swivels, he has an ab crunch, and his legs have more range of movement. So it turns out this guy right here actually has more um, articulation. But this guy right here, I just like the, the detail on him. I think that looks really cool. And also for another comparison, um, here we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fast forward. Um, here we got Raphael. And 
These two look great next to each other. I, I have a lot of these figures, but I'm actually really low on accessories, like their um, weapons and stuff, so I don't actually have their weapons. Um, but this guy right here is, is also um, pretty cool. Uh, they fit in well together. I still got to get um, Donatello and Michelangelo from this um, series. Um, so yeah, this figure right here is really great. And if you're able to get your hands on it, I couldn't recommend it enough. And looking at it now on the, the aftermarket, I see these guys like men on card, they go for like $300 or, or more than that, depending on which figure, which it's actually really insane. You, you can find them loose for pretty cheap, but then again, he, he, he'll be missing his accessories. So I'm just um, happy that I have this guy. I, I found him at a um, comic book store years ago and I still have him to this day and he looks really great on my TMNT shelf so I, I, I couldn't recommend him enough this, this right here is like a classic um, for me um, I do want to do some more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, reviews coming soon so um, definitely stay tuned for that I have some other um, figures that I would like to review so, yeah, this has been my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fast Forward um, Leonardo. If you like this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And once we reach 1,000 subscribers on this channel, I will be doing a full collection video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comments down below if you had this figure and if it brings back any happy memories. And uh, let me know what your favorite um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles incarnation is. It doesn't just have to be the one from right here. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll see you guys on the next video review.